Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and today we are building the Motor Inn Motel from The Walking Dead Telltale Game Season 1. Now the only thing that I had a big problem with with this playthrough is for one, I couldn't make Clementine a child because the mods that I used, which was one for texturing to make them look like Telltale characters, and her hat, which is a really big, like, significant thing in my opinion, and there was no good substitute in Cass, you can only be a teenager or an adult for those items. So I was really frustrated about that. But I was going to try to get a mod to see if we can give her more character traits, but to the build, I just built the yellow motel and I think I used a yellow wallpaper from the new wedding kit because um, the stucco U was like very orange. And since there was no white doors with green frames, I just used some pillars and kind of framed the door so it can look like the very few photos that I found online. And I'm sorry if it's really dizzy. I was really contemplating on what type of black top I wanted because the gray was so bright and depressing, but I wanted to be as true as possible. So I used the half walls to kind of replicate Kate, some particle board and I gave it a lot of texture by using like you know water stains and cracks and and whatnot that you can get from like the vampire pack and I think Strangerville too they had some things in there but all in all I did enjoy this it was a bit underwhelming to make this scene simply because I did the last of us and you can find that on my youtube channel and it was just a lot more detail but I wanted to replicate some of the areas where like Duck and his family were. So I put the cardboard down because he was like drawing in one of the promo pictures on the ground right there. And then I got really sad. So I'm not going to spoil anything. And then in terms of the blue fencing you see, I had to use three gates because there was no fencing that looked like the fencing in the game. So it was kind of frustrating. So right here I'm just adding more details and like blood stains. We are in the middle of an apocalypse. I also made it an off-grid sort of plot because I want it to be a bit more realistic true to the game as possible, but some things get a bit goofy, like Clementine's using her phone to play games still. I don't know. I gave Lee some traits that I regret, like I did give him a hot-headed trait, but he's just like pissed off all the time. But all in all, I was really happy with this playthrough, and it's just a quick one today, and I'll be back for more in the future, so thank you for tuning in, and I will see you next time on here and on my TikTok, Corvidé Down. 